everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my current favorites. I know I haven't posted a favorites video in a really long time, so I wanted to update you guys and tell you guys what I have been loving the last few months. So I have some beauty, fashion, random music, food for you guys. Also, I want to give you guys a reminder. If you guys don't know already, I am doing a giveaway on my channel. It is for the Kylie Jenner lip kits. I'm doing a giveaway here on my YouTube, and it's for the True Brown K and the Candy K lip kit. All you have to do is subscribe. And then I'm also doing a giveaway for my Instagram followers on my Instagram account, and it's for Mary Jo K and Coco K. If you want to join and enter those giveaways, all you have to do is subscribe here on YouTube, and then also follow me on Instagram. So I just did a really rambly bit, but let's get on with the favorites. So I want to start off this video with beauty favorites. I didn't really put a lot of makeup favorites in this video because I just put up a video, I think I put it up last week, of my current everyday makeup routine and it showcases all of my favorite makeup products at the moment. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I will leave a link here or you can check the description bar below. There you can see all of the things that I've been loving to put on my face. It is fantastic. So you guys go check that out right now. So one of my favorite products this month is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. And this is the all-in-one. And it says, even removes waterproof mascara. One of the main reasons I really, really like this the last few months is I have been trying waterproof mascara. It makes taking off my mascara a lot easier. I'm not really fighting with it too much. When I don't use it, it takes me a lot longer and it's a lot harder for me to take off my mascara. So speaking of waterproof mascara, I can't believe I have a mascara favorite, but it is so good. So this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt Waterproof Mascara. I started using this on a recommendation from a friend and at first I really, really hated it, but I feel like that's sort of common with me and mascaras. I feel like it takes me quite a long time to figure out how to use them properly for my lashes. So I've had this for about two or three months now and only now do I love it. I think the, the formula has gotten to the point where it's not so wet that it just kind of clumps on my lashes. The brush on this is quite interesting. It's not a normal bristle brush. It has a brush on one side, but I wouldn't call it a brush. It just has like these spiky bristle bits that are in a shape of a V. And then in between it, there's like a sort of a trough where it holds product. I kind of find that a bit cumbersome because I feel like it picks up too much product. So I always have to wipe all of the excess product off of it. But besides that, I really like it because it's really good at coating my lashes really well without making them look really clumpy and spidery. So my next beauty favorite is a soap and it's a cleanser, but it's not for my face. This is the Liquid Blender Cleanser from Beauty Blender. And I really like this cleanser for cleaning my Beauty Blender and also to clean my makeup brushes. I like that it is really good at like making sure that all of the gunk and stuff and all the product that can get soaked into my Beauty Blender comes out. I know for a fact from like many people that if you don't clean your Beauty Blender properly, it'll cause you to break out a lot because it just holds in, it's a sponge, it holds in all that product, it'll hold in all that water and then bacteria will start to form. But this has made it so much easier to clean. So I really love it, it's fantastic. So my last beauty favorite is a skincare product and I don't have the, I guess, buddy to this one because I ran out of it a while ago, but I love the Sunday Riley Luna Oil and it's the Sleeping Night Oil as well as the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Serum. They come together in a pack and you can get it at Sephora and I just really like it because I find it's a really good deal. You get half the size of a large full-size product but at a discount. So instead of paying um, $100 for two products, you pay like a, I think under 80, like $78. So I just buy it instead of buying two full-size products for full price, I just buy that combo pack for $80 and then I just re-up on it constantly. After using the Sunday Riley products, I feel like my skin is just rejuvenated. It looks hydrated, it looks smoother, it looks younger, and I don't have as many issues with dryness as I used to because I feel like my skin has been like resurfaced. And it's all because I've been using these products and I love it so, so, so much. So let's move on to fashion favorites and let's just talk about off the shoulder tops. I think you've seen from the last two videos that I really like off the shoulder tops. Off the shoulder pretty much anything for this summer is like 
fantastic in my book. I have been wearing off the shoulder tops, dresses, like my jumpsuit is a, a tube top, so it's not technically off the shoulder, but it is um, free of straps. And I just have been loving that look. I just think it's really sexy to kind of show a little bit of your collarbone and a little bit of your shoulders. And I'm just really loving it. So this top I'm wearing has to probably be my favorite of all my off the shoulders this summer. And this is a top from Mango. What's great is this is on sale. I think it's like $20. And I love it because it has three quarter sleeves like this. And it kind of puffs out a little bit, so it's a little bit more interesting, and I love the striped detail on this, and it's very airy and light. Because it's $20, you can kind of feel the quality of the material. It's not gonna be the sturdiest of all my shirts. I know that this probably won't last um, until next summer because it is slowly starting to fray in certain places because I've been wearing it so much, but I don't care. The price was perfect. The fit is fantastic and it's such a nice style. I really love this shirt. So in stark contrast to my last fashion favorite, this fashion favorite is a bit more expensive, definitely on the high end side, and it's my new leather jacket. This is from All Saints and I am in love with this jacket. I love it so, so much. And I think, yes, so this is the Raleigh jacket from All Saints and I got it in a size US 6 and I just love the fit of this jacket. So I'm not a big fan of cropped leather jackets. I have one, I bought it quite a few years ago and now I'm just like not really into it. This one comes down to right below or right at my hips and I love the length of it and I just like that it kind of, it doesn't look completely oversized but it's not completely tight and fitted so it's a little bit more relaxed but it's not boyfriend. And I love the detailing on this, like the silver detailing of it all and I love this like little ball detail on the zippers and I think my favorite part is possibly the belt. I didn't like it at first, it kind of used to bother me because it is a little heavy and it makes a lot of jingle dangle noise, um, as you guys can hear. But when the look is completely pulled together, this thing looks badass. I love it so much. So my next fashion favorite are a pair of sandals. These are the sandals here. These are the Schutz Layla sandals. And I just love, love the way these sandals look. So it's two-toned, it's black and white, and the black is a suede and the white is a leather. So I like that this is a minimalist sandal compared to other sandals that are out right now because I know that like Gladiator and type sandals are really in, but I like that it has just that one strap over the toes and then it does do a lace-up bit here and it laces up around my ankles. I will leave a picture of what it looks like on feet so you guys can see the gorgeousness of the sandal, but I just love this detail so much. It's so cute on and I can wear it with pretty much anything. So we're sticking with shoes and my other fashion favorite are these espadrilles by Saludos. Like how stinking cute are these? I have been wearing these everywhere non-stop. These are like my go-to easy slip-on shoes and how cute are they? I just, I love the wink, winky winky. It's great. And so these are the Jason Poland for Saludos wink and they also come in black with white stitching. But I, I love these so much. And these are the smoking slippers. They're just so easy to throw on and I just love that they're really comfortable. They're really breathable. When it's hot out, you can wear them and they don't like suffocate your feet. And I love that you can pair them with jeans, shorts, dresses, jumpsuits, anything. They go with it all and they add that like really cool summer vibe to all the outfits, which is why I love them so much. This summer I've been wearing three sunglasses consistently on rotation and I posted a picture, quite a few different pictures on my Instagram account and you guys have been asking where the sunglasses are and what they're called. So here it is, here are all of the questions answered. So the first sunglasses that I have been loving and wearing are these bad boys. You guys, they're reflective, so you'll see my setup, but it doesn't matter. These are from Key sunglasses, and Key is spelled Q-U-A-Y, and these are the Antigone sunglasses in clear with mirrored. And I actually found these while I was out shopping with my friend Jessica. These were total on a whim. I just put them on my face and just like, 
I really just loved the look of them. So I found them online on ASOS and they were on sale for $28. I don't know if they're still there, but if they are, I will leave a link for it down below. These are fantastic. I love them so much. And they were so cheap. They were $28, I couldn't pass it up. The second set of sunglasses that I am obsessed with this summer are these really giant golden aviators. How sexy are these? Like, come on. You guys know I love my Ray-Ban oversized aviators and these kind of are similar to them. These are the Key by Desi Perkins sunglasses and these I got off of Urban Outfitters website and they're $60 I think. I think these are like my favorite, favorite, favorite new sunglasses right now. And these are my beautiful babies from Gentle Monster. So Gentle Monster is a Korean sunglass brand and I was able to find these online and I think these are called the Love Punch. I don't know if that's correct, but I think that is. If it's not correct, I will leave the name here below and they come in a silver metallic, or sorry, silver mirrored, gold mirrored, and then these black ones, which are sort of mirrored if you look at certain lights, but I love love these sunglasses they're so cool and they're so funky and i just love the design of it let's move on to my random favorites and my first random favorite is going to be food obviously i think i put food in all of my favorites videos this one is from nature box this is not sponsored don't worry but i do have a code for you guys down below to grab yourself a free box to try for yourself you can get up to five free snacks and all you have to do is pay five dollars for shipping so check the description box below for the code but i love nature box so my boyfriend and i have sort of had issues finding really good healthy-ish snacks and also we don't have a car so we go to the grocery store maybe like every two weeks but usually our snacks run out within the first three or four days. And so I was like, okay, I need to find a way for us to get snacks where we don't have to go to the grocery store and we don't have to go to like a market that only sells really junky, bad junk food type snacks. So I found Nature Box. And the reason I like Nature Box over like other ones like Grays and such and such is because of the size of our snacks. So each box is $20, but you can sort of vary how much you want to pay based on how many. I think $20 gets you five bags of different kinds of snacks. You can also get a three bag option. Yeah, I think you can get a three bag option. I'm not sure if you can get one less, but you can definitely go down to three bags. And you can also adjust how often they send you the snacks. So you can go once a week, you can do twice a week. We've done twice a week, but we've found out that like twice a week we don't eat all of the snacks, but now we're on a once a month rotation and it's perfect. The reason I really, really wanted to tell you guys about it is because I have found some of my favorite snacks through Nature Box, like their Asiago cheese crisps. Oh, it's so good. And their garlic bread cheese crisps. Oh, guys, like I have to stop myself from eating the entire bag and I struggle with that. I don't know if I've said this, you can choose the type of snacks you want. Like my boyfriend really likes all of the sweeter pastry type snacks. So he likes the Belgian waffles and the blueberry nom noms. I'm sort of a mix. I like to make sure that we have sweet, savory, and like chewy type things. So check them out. I will leave the code down below so you guys can go check out the um, nature box and get a free box for yourself. So my last random favorite is going to be somewhat of an embarrassing confession, but you know what? We're all friends here. It's not a big deal. But my next favorite is an app on my phone and I am proud to say I play Pokemon Go. I love this game. And what's funny is I'm not big on any sort of video games. I don't really like playing games on my phone, but fast forward to like now, which I downloaded it maybe three weeks ago. I'm obsessed with this game. So let's quickly do some music favorites. And easily the last few months, my music favorite has been Ariana Grande's newest album. That album is fantastic, guys. If you like pop music and you like like poppy R&B, you will love, 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 love this album. I love Bad Decisions. That is 
one of my favorite, favorite like hyping up type songs because it's so fun to dance to whenever I need sort of like motivation to do something, to do chores and to do blah, 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 whatever stuff I don't really like to do. I put that on and I'm like, yeah, it is also really good for working out. So, which is another thing I don't really like to do. I love Be All Right. I love Sometimes. I pretty much like like 80% of that album. It's really, really good. Um, what else do I like this summer? Oh, yeah. Another song I like, which is sort of a, a goofy pop song, is DNCE's Toothbrush. That song, I like the melody of the song, but I think the reason I like it so much is because it's such um, a stupid premise. <laughs> and he's just, it's, he's pretty much talking about a toothbrush and he's telling a girl like, hey, you don't have to rush. You can leave your toothbrush at my place. Like, you know, I just love the tongue in cheek aspect of it. And I think it's just really fun to listen to. And it's just a nice, fun summer song. So I'm just really enjoying that song. And then what is the other song that I really like? that comes on the radio. Oh yes, I have been loving this song for months and months and months. And even still today, I am not sick of it. And it is Jordan Fisher's All About Us. He is so good. That song is so much fun to listen to. And it's so much fun to work out to. And it's just, if you haven't heard it yet, go check it out. It is literally my jam. We have reached the end of this favorites video. We finally got here. It took us a little bit longer than I thought it would, but we are here. And I'm so glad that I am back to filming like sit down videos like this because I just, I think I've forgotten how much fun it is for me to kind of like talk through all of the things that I'm loving and share all with you guys. And also like, you know, I love seeing and reading all the comments you guys put up. If you guys didn't know already, I look at all of your comments, I get them all, they're always on my phone, and I love it so much. I love hearing from you guys, and I love that you guys are enjoying the videos that I'm putting up. I'm sorry that there's like so many gaps between things, but quick life update. I don't think I've said this on my channel before, but I do work for myself. I'm a freelance event producer, and so this year I just have gotten a lot more work, which is a good thing. Getting a lot more work means, you know, great, great, great things, and I am very appreciative of it but because of that there's a downside i don't have as much free time to devote to my youtube channel as much as i would like i'm really trying to figure out the balance of it all i want to do both and this is definitely something that i really enjoy doing and i really love doing videos for you guys so i really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe because i'm doing a giveaway but also don't forget to subscribe because you know you love videos from me anyway thank you guys again for watching Please don't forget to check out my Instagram account. I'm also running a giveaway there as well. And I'm putting up a lot more content on there. So if you guys haven't checked that out yet, go ahead and do that. Also, for those of you guys who have been asking questions, it's a little hard for me to see the comments that come up on my Instagram account and on my YouTube because like only certain notifications get shown to me. So if you guys do have any questions you want me to answer, hit me up on Twitter and use the hashtag HeyThereShine and I will see it. That's pretty much the easiest way and I can respond to you guys there pretty easily and really directly. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.